It was the summer of 1916. I was on my way to Istanbul from Baghdad when I witnessed some brutal and horrible scenes while approaching Aleppo. And that was the mass murder and looting of Armenians. The Ottomans had killed the youth and forced men, women and children to march towards extermination as they were being whipped by armed soldiers. Many corpses were scattered along the road. As I traveled along the western banks of the Euphrates, I saw many dead bodies floating in the river. One afternoon, we reached a place where the soldiers had camped and allowed a group of Armenians, about 400 of them, to have some rest. Men and women were digging the desert sands, hoping to find roots or dry grass to satisfy their hunger. A woman approached me and showed me her 18 and 19 year old daughters. Their hair had been shaved off so they wouldn't attract the attention of the surrounding men. She told me that her daughters were hungry. She begged me that for God's sake I would give her something to eat in exchange for two diamonds. I felt so embarrassed that I gave them whatever I had and told them to keep the jewels for themselves. Then an old man approached me and told me in perfect French that his 10-year-old son was dying in front of his eyes. I gave him a loaf of bread. He divided it into two pieces. He hid one piece under his cloth and wolfed down the other. He asked me, Are you surprised that I ate the bread and didn't give it to my son? And he added, It's because I know very well that he's destined to die.